This video will show you how to connect your Unleashed account to your Xero account. From your Unleashed account, go to Integration, then Integration Store. Find the Xero option and click on Configure. This page will display some information on the Xero integration. Click on the Install App button on the right hand side of the screen. You will then be prompted to log in to your Xero account. Once you are logged in, the Authorize Application page will display. It will ask you to select the organization which you would like to connect your Unleashed account with. Once you select the relevant organization, click Authorize. You do not need to action anything else on this page. You will be automatically redirected after a few moments. You should then get a message to confirm that the connection to Xero was successful. You should also see that the integration status has been switched on on the top right hand side of the screen. The next step is to assign your Xero chart of accounts. The sales account selection should be the default sales account in your Xero profit and loss. All completed sales orders and sales credits in Unleashed will have the transaction lines coded to the Xero sales account. You will, however, be able to set up overrides on your products and customers. The cost of goods sold account selection should be your default cost of goods sold account in your Xero profit and loss. All shipment journals sent to Xero will be coded to the cost of goods sold account and the stock on hand account. You will, however, be able to set up overrides on your products. The stock on hand account selection should be your stock on hand account in your Xero balance sheet. All purchases and journals sent from Unleashed will be coded to this account. And please note that you will only be able to have one stock on hand account. The next step is to link your Xero taxes. You can simply click the Auto Sync Tax Codes button to create a copy of your tax codes to Unleashed. These will automatically be mapped from your Xero account to Unleashed. You have the option to also do this manually. When you click on the Let me manually do this link, it will take you to the Taxes Setup page in Unleashed, where you can have more control on your tax settings. This is a manual exercise, but it only needs to be done once as part of the setup. The next step is regarding which exports you would like from Unleashed to Zero. You can enable or disable the options for things such as sales, purchases, supplier returns, credits, etc. For example, if the export customer contacts option is not switched on, then additional contacts saved against your customers will not be exported from Unleashed to Zero. Once you're done with the selections, you can then select Save Configuration. The Manage Your Data tab will give you options to import your Zero customers, suppliers, and taxes to Unleashed. The Export Zero Data tab enables you to make sure that the transactions you have performed in Unleashed are being sent to your Xero account. If there is any data that is available, it automatically appears when you click on any one of the tabs. You can then export transactions, and this can be especially helpful if you cannot find it in Xero. To action this reconciliation, you can select a date range. We recommend that you do this for a week at a time, or up to one month as a maximum. You can then select the relevant tab, for example, Sales Invoices, and you can then click on the Reconcile Transactions button, and this will run the recon in the background. You can then refresh the screen to see a notification which will confirm that the reconciliation is complete. You can then go back to the Export Zero Data screen, enter the date range that you previously used, and then you can look at the export status, and this should hopefully be showing exported. If you look at the view column, this should show zero. And if you click on the link, it will take you to the transaction in zero. You can click export numerous times. If the transaction is already in zero, you will get a warning message. Do be aware, however, that the system will allow duplicates 
for purchase orders and credit notes, so it will allow you to push through those transactions multiple times. You will also see the variance count and variance total displayed. Of course, your goal will be to have no variances. However, you would expect to see a variance for the following reasons. If the transaction has not been passed from Unleashed to Zero, if you manually modify the transaction in Zero, if you have set up multi-currency in Unleashed, but you have not set up multi-currency in Zero, and if a transaction has been voided or deleted. You can also check for any unsuccessful exports by selecting the View Failed Exports option on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. If any transactions have failed, you will be able to see these here, as well as the reasons. This will then give you the opportunity to export them manually. We highly recommend that you check for failed exports often. Let's look at a few notes regarding what is exported from Unleashed to Zero. Here are a couple of reminders. Only completed transactions will be sent from Unleashed to Zero. Also remember that these transactions will appear as drafts in Zero. For more information regarding the Zero integration, remember to check the help files on the Unleashed website. Thanks for watching the Zero integration setup video.